Hello, this is Andrew Shin of the Lion Rock Institute, and today I would like to talk about a new welfare program uh, announced by the Hong Kong government via the Central Bank of Hong Kong, which is the Hong Kong Monetary Authority. Um, the Hong Kong Monetary Authority has under it the Hong Kong Mortgage Corporation, a entity that uh, was uh, supposedly to replicate Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac prior to 2008. Uh, but has basically lost its reason of existence since. Um, it recently announced a scheme called a life annuity scheme in which individuals in Hong Kong above the age of 65 uh, would be allowed to deposit anywhere between 50,000 Hong Kong dollars, which works out to be roughly 8,000 US dollars, to 1 million Hong Kong dollars, which is roughly 120,000 US dollars, to an annuity in which would then pay out roughly to if it's a male uh, about 800 US dollars a month if you're a female uh, about seven six to seven hundred US dollars a month let's leave aside the uh, differences between uh, the payout to different genders uh, we simply want to talk about the reason why such scheme came into existence um, you might ask if you are not familiar with Hong Kong perhaps the government coming up with its own annuity scheme with a real cash deposit uh, required uh, is because Hong Kong is underserved in the insurance and annuity market. Um, and if you are living in Hong Kong, you would surely know that Hong Kong is not only one of the most vibrant uh, financial centers in the world, but observers previously have commented that Hong Kong people are over-insured with the amount of uh, insurance schemes that we purchase over the years. So anyhow, you might say that if the market is well served, why such an annuity scheme exists? This of course is a government subsidized scheme in which the returns are inflated, risk free, and hence it's a transfer payment, a welfare payment to individuals above the age of 65. Uh, this literally, if you were to deposit a million Hong Kong dollars, a welfare scheme for millionaires Brilliant. Well, anyhow, you might say that, well, why, why is the Hong Kong government trying to subsidize or, or give welfare payments to millionaires? The government is doing this because uh, it was told by models and algorithms that such a move needs to be taken. And unfortunately, I always say that if your aircraft is piloted using faulty guidance instruments, you are bound to crash. And in this particular case, uh, the absurdity of paying welfare to millionaires was based on a tool called the poverty line. And if you are familiar with the calculation of poverty line, uh, the poverty line in Hong Kong is, is, is calculated in taking, I think, 50 to 60% of median income. It is that simple. So if an individual or household was to fall below 50 or 60% of median income, they're considered to be in poverty. As you might not know, uh, interest rates around the world has been held at 0% uh, by all major central banks. And in that particular environment, uh, an individual with 5 million Hong Kong dollars in cash uh, and living in a $5 million home, which works out to be 10 million Hong Kong or about 1.2 million US dollars, uh, because he or she is living in their own home, uh, that particular un residential unit would generate no cash income, while the 5 million Hong Kong dollars, if they are lucky, would generate 1% in interest rate per annum, which works out to have an income per month that is below the poverty line. And as assets are not counted with by the, in the poverty, uh, uh, poverty calculation, this individual with a net worth of 1.2 million US dollars would, according to the Hong Kong government, be considered in poverty. Now, it is because of this particular uh, calculation that you constantly hear social uh, justice warriors in Hong Kong claiming that there are over a million out of 7 million people to be in poverty, while especially the fastest growing group to be individuals above the age of 65. Labor income has not fallen as much. In fact, it has risen. Uh, but uh, capital income, interest income, has fallen dr dramatically since uh, interest rates was lowered to 0% uh, in 2008. So therefore, it is because of this particular policy guide that the Hong Kong government decided to introduce a scheme which literally is welfare for millionaires. Now, 
uh, I have to stress that uh, disparity of wealth is bothering a lot of individuals and causing great discontent around the world. But I must reiterate, it is wealth disparity that people are talking about and not income. In fact, if you were to gauge around the world, uh, or especially in Hong Kong, people of Hong Kong says housing is the biggest social problem. But if you were to travel around Hong Kong, you do not see anyone homeless. So hence, housing itself is not really a roof over your head. What people of Hong Kong is talking about is the chance of ownership and therefore the chance to participate in this rising asset price cycle. And hence, the fundamental problem in Hong Kong is actually asset or wealth disparity. And unless there is something that could be done to monetary policy, uh, this cycle cannot be broken, especially not with a welfare transfer payment to millionaires. We are talking about individuals in their 30s and 40s, perhaps laden with massive mortgage debt, but because they have a labor income, having to pay come as transfer payments to these retired millionaires. So anyhow, this is the absurdity of the poverty line. Hopefully it was informative as to what's happening in Hong Kong and how when technocrats goes mad, policies also go mad. Thank you for watching and subscribe to our newsletter at the Lion Rock Institute. Thank you.